Hello, hello guys. Continue with this Nechi Lydia tree. Now for God help me the Holy Spirit how to explain this very well for winding the bobin. Important, please notice the bobin for the Nechi are really different to others. It may be you have a machine like that and it's not working proper checking for what kind of bobbin hat is too similar to the class 15 you see class 15 this one and this other one is class 66 but if you see class 15 is too long here is high that means it's not going to work the other is, is that class 66 when you can put in the bobbin case and you think like it's working but before uh, because the 66 has a little like a bump here like a curve it's not going to work so make sure what you had is the ones for this machine you can find that by say nechi bobbins also, I can let you in the description the number for this part for the bobbin, but you can find use for Nechi bobbin bobbins. And you see, it's no, it's flat. It's totally flat. And when you're going to put here, it's fit flat because the CCC is not going to work because it's a little a little bump here so pay attention and maybe your machine you had an itchy and had that problem checking the bobbin maybe it's the bobbin okay now for winding the bobbin you had your bobbin ending so you come in the thread come like that can put the cap there and pass the thread through this hole is there there are a hole there you pass coming down and pass for here there are a little indentation there here in the corner now on to the, the tension this there and now we're going down I say in other videos subscribe see that I almost sure the holes little holes is in the bobbins is for we pass the thread and it's going to be e easy to the wind in the bobbin. You pass like that inside, outside, and put in the place. Now, food in the presser, food, and do it. This is so fast. Huh? Now, this little tail you cut after sun and if you see the bobbin is no no feel uniform or is more in one side than the other side you can help with your finger no worry like that I'm trying to not go so fast is that now we had the thread cut Now for put this bobbin, notice the bobbin case go upside too, like a majority horizontal, uh, uh, excuse me, vertical or front bobbin, because that go like that. But when you had the bobbin there, it's difficult for take off. So 
I use a magnet and take the part when I need to wind in the bobbin. Okay, take your bobbin like this. My left hand had the tail, and this is your bobbin case. Put there to the left until there are a little flash there. To the back. And you're going to find a little lash there. Now come to the left again, around, and it's there in the little spring. This is how it looks. It's in the spring. Okay. This go in the center like that. In the center between these two. For from here to put, you need to make sure you hand, hand well is this in the button. This is the one for selector reals. Don't forget, sometimes we are so accustomed to use hand well here and we move this all the time. This is for the stitches, selector real. But you go in here and you check in, is the needle in the high position. And you see here, you're going to rot with the hand well. This black part or the part for the hook, a part black or the hook, need always to be up when you going to set your bobbin case, okay? Go like that. So make sure, and for that, you, you see, it's in the high position, the needle. You know it's in the high position because you play with the hand well, and doing this, and move the needle, and move that, and you see what is the high position. Now, how I say? Go like that, and this way, the thread go in the middle, and you stroke there, this part, this go first, then, and so. Now we're going to fish in the thread. Okay, close your bobbin face. Now see, remember, tension is in here, and there are here for the presser bar. Depends what kind of material, the fabric you're going to sew. When you set this thing very well, the machine is amazing for May stitches. And so we're going to practice here a little bit. You can check in. <clears throat> Remember the two threads in the back. Make sure the thread for the top is good thread and go through this little indentation here or go to the back. Two threads there. Now I start. I like always to put the needle down when I start. <clears throat> if the thread is get out, you just pull there. Okay. If you want to go more slow, you need to get less pressure in the pressure foot. 
and this is how working perfect always this machine doesn't have a lot of deals so it's like easy to handle Italian machine here is the the leg of the stitch and like I told you there this is the deal for change the stitch different stitch so we can go for that this is like a zigzag and you can put different leg say point around one and a half and checking for me the reverse is this one just do like that beautiful machine that's it so I hope guys you enjoy and remember really important in these machines what bobin you use maybe yours is good just checking it had the right bobin thank you guys for watch god bless you and please continue pray for the world bye